Robots have been a popular novelty here at the annual Consumer Electronics Show for years, but they've never made the mainstream. This year, there's a lot of money riding on the bet that something has changed. That something is artificial intelligence. Already in danger of becoming the most hyped new technology, machine learning has raised the possibility of turning remote-controlled toys into machines that can actually start to respond to their surroundings. So what happens when you put a new brain in a walking, dancing humanoid machine? You can call them a robot, but they're really, it's almost like a remote control vehicle or person, you know? Uh, now with, with, uh, uh, with truly robotic elements to it where they can react and think for themselves, then uh, that's where they really start taking a life of their own and, help, and, and helping you rather than being there just for entertainment value. The brains in this robot come courtesy of Amazon. Alexa, the company's smart digital assistant, can do things like answer voice searches and make a shopping list as it follows you around the house. Some of the robots that are riding this new AI wave don't really have much in the way of robotics in them at all. They still act like they're responding to you, but they're not really much more than a touch screen in a digital assistant. Like Siri, the Apple smartphone app, come to life. The new robots being unleashed on the world come in all shapes and sizes. How about a robot umbrella due to go on sale in the coming months? No more tiresome swivelling of the pole as the sun moves so you stay in the shade. Somebody asked me why does, why does anyone need a robotic shade system and I said why does anyone need smart toilets? I think we're living in a time right now where the technology around us is, is growing at a tremendous speed. Uh, sensor and information you know, from multiple types of products is allowing us to start communicating between products and helping people to live uh, a little bit easier uh, in comfort. But at somewhere between two and a half and three thousand dollars, that sounds like a high price for convenience. This race to animate almost any object that can hold a chip and a microphone has been a feature of this year's Consumer Electronics Show. Makers of all kinds of gadgets have been rushing to bring AI to their devices. But much of this feels like throwing spaghetti against a wall to see if it sticks. Just because it's now cheaper and easier to add intelligence to any digital gadget, that doesn't make it a good idea. Takanori Shibata dreamt of creating Paro, an animated baby seal, 20 years ago, and it's been on sale for more than a decade. It's been approved by US regulators for use by dementia and cancer patients to reduce anxiety and stress. Embedded with sensors under the fake fur, this robot doesn't do much other than twitch, but it puts emotional response above pure technology. So although artificial intelligence has brought many new capabilities to robots, uh, over the years one thing hasn't changed, and that is that it's, it's really the emotional connection that you get from a physical object that really sets robotics apart. Richard Waters for the Financial Times in Las Vegas.